we got engaged, you know, she's like, okay, Mike, I'll let you once a month. Hey, y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in to Pass the Mic. And it is your girl, Miss Skin Deep, unapologetically. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and push the like button. And let's get into this video. So Michael Blackson's wife gives him a pass. Ooh, how many of you ladies can do that? Can you share your man? Michael Blackson likes to have it multiplied. He likes to have it like it's a buffet. Mmm, I don't know, guys. I don't know about this one, but he is a man of high value. So does that mean he has options? Let's get into it. We got engaged, you know. She's like, okay, Mike, I'll let you once a month. What? Yeah. After the engagement? Not even... How does how do you make that contract? Did she got any Cambodian assistance? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you make that contract? So she says once a month. And yeah. what is that once? Okay, Mike, once a month. What does that mean? Well, once a month, I'm allowed to, you know, have a side chick. So our biggest argument to did today is, you know, our problem is, you know, hey, Mike, tear them up and send them home. Right. Um, don't be going out to dinner and doing right. actual curricular activities. You know, she, she wanted me to just pretty much don't feed the side chicks. Right. Don't feed them. Don't feed them. Right. right. And, um, and where does it go down at, though, Mike? It, um, no, nah, it could go down anywhere. It doesn't, you know, originally she was trying to keep it. Our biggest argument at first, she went into like, hey, find a groupie, get it over with. Me, right. I didn't, I wasn't too comfortable with mm -hmm. picking up groupies every weekend. Right. You know, you go to sleep, with, you get robbed, you get, anything will happen. Anything can happen. Anything at any given time can happen. That is like taking a risk. A risk. It's risky business. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I need the fellas to answer this question for me. One question. Why get married? Why even go through the whole hassle of getting married and having a family when you want multiple women, why not just be single? Why not just be single and do you? Do you so you can have multiple women, all oh, different shapes and sizes and different colors or ethnicities. You can get them from one, one part of the earth to the other. But why get married? Why waste a woman's time to where she has to, she has to share you with somebody else? It's not even just about sharing, but when you think about it, you know, she might, she might just be in it for the money. She might say, you know what? Uh, you know, Michael Blackson, he ain't all that great looking. He is, however, very financially stable. So I'll just go ahead and kind of like act like this doesn't bother me much. I'm going to go ahead and pretend like this isn't a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and just sweep this under the rug because the money coming in is nice. I'm going to go ahead and get that bag and secure this house and all of these things that comes with him and he can go ahead and do him i'm gonna sit back and live it fat do you guys think that's what she's doing because i don't know any woman unless you're in a, pol in a, in a polygamous uh relationship you know what i'm saying marriage where you and your spouse you both are kind of like agreeing that you're gonna venture out into other relationships and stuff like that but just a man and a woman with a family allowing your husband to go out there and taste the sea? Taste all the fish in the sea? I don't know. I don't know about that. That kind of seems weird to me. I definitely do believe that she is in it for something else because I don't think that she can go to bed at night knowing that her husband is dipping. He dipping out there. And then coming home... And dipping in her. You know what I'm saying? It's too much nasty stuff out there these days. It's too much craziness out there these days. And women's private parts is just too sensitive. Our private parts are sensitive. We don't want to be sharing. Y'all bringing back stuff to us. And we are throwing off, throwing off our H, you know, our, 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 our balance and shit. We, we, don't, we don't need none of that. So, I don't know. You guys tell me, what do you think? 
this is all about because I don't think it's based on love. I don't think it's about the family. I don't really think it, it's all about that. Do you think that she has low self-esteem? Do the ladies think that she has low self-esteem that she will allow her husband to go out and dip out once a month? Once a month? It's like how many years you're going to be married and how many women you're going to have? 12, 12 women a year plus your wife? That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. So, men, answer this question. Why even get married if you're going to be dipping out every month? Why even go through the hassle of being tied down when you can be free as a bird? And ladies, to secure a high-value man that's, that's making this kind of money, are you willing to just... Turn your eye and turn your cheek and let your husband do this like every month? Or do you guys see it as a self-esteem issue? Y'all let me know in the comment section. And it's been your girl, Miss Kendi.